Hey Copper fam, we are in Vienna, Austria for a derby with a difference. Copper 90 derby days have shown that these games split cities with rivalries that are often fiercer in the stands than on the pitch. But what we're here for, well, it's not like that. You have probably heard of the derby that dominates this city between Rapid and Austria Vienna. But we're not here for that. Instead, we're here for the original Vienna Derby, a lower league game between Wiener Sport Club and First Vienna, where the match is a celebration of the tradition of these clubs, where the fans are united by their philosophies, and where the game has come to be known as the Derby of Love. Outside the stadium, inside in the stadium, they are Really big, big friends. We brought the tequila, they brought the lemon. It's not just a game for the league, it's a game for the heart, for the fans. Uh, it's the most important game of the season. The first game was played in 1910 and simply called the Vienna Derby. And post-World War II, these were the most successful clubs in Austrian football. It all meant when they played, it was the game in the country. And over 70,000 people watched it right here. But recently, both clubs have suffered relegations and both have had financial problems. This club was the first football club in Austria. It was founded in 1894 from English gardeners. This is uh, a club uh, in Austria with the highest uh, traditional history. Camps three or four times champion in Austria. Wiener Sportclub in Vienna was the big Viennese derby and it shifted obviously in the past 50 years due to the lack of success. Davon haben wir 41 Meisterschaftsspiele ohne Niederlage gehabt und das war für Österreich der größte Erfolg, was gegeben hat. We are responsible for the highest defeat of Juventus Turin in European Cup. In, in the 50s we beat them 7-0. It was a very important match uh, during the 50s when both teams have been Austrian champions. Es ist uns schon bewusst, aber Ja, wie ich gerade gehört habe, wurde das Match schon mal von 50.000 Leuten ausgetragen. There were a lot of people here. There are pictures you can't imagine. So if you see the hills and everything here, it was full crowded. Beginning with the 80s, both got financial and also other problems and they went down to, to second league. We had the same president, uh, Mr. Dvoracek, obviously was first Sportclub president. Then he left in a hurry, um, left for Vienna and then he left for jail. A president not very popular at both clubs. It's not just the ties to a glorious past or the striking similarities to their struggles that the fans share and have brought them together. Both fan bases are left-wing and inclusive and most of the active fan bases knew each other from everyday life. The only difference really being their chosen club and colors. Both fan cultures tend to be more left-wing or more social aware than other fan clubs. We were meeting in bars and pubs and clubs uh, because we were listening to alternative music. We had some political uh, interests. We know each other and we were friends. But for me, it really hit off after the millennium, where first of all, um, we played in the same league again. Second of all, there was also a new generation on both sides of supporters. Both clubs could, could establish their own fan culture, which means no sexism, no racism self-organized uh, and having a different way of football supporting. We tried to get rid of chants that were very negative towards our opponents but also towards our own players. That doesn't mean that the people are not enthusiastic and not uh, emotional. I say it's relatively selten ist, weil ich meine, wenn ich mir das überlege, Rapid-Fans und Austria-Fans gehen friedlich nebeneinander ins Stadion oder 60er und Bayern oder City und, und United-Fans, also geht irgendwie gar nicht, ja, habe ich den Eindruck. Ja. Ein old Sportclub-Fan died and so uh, we showed our respect to him and sang a, a song for him. Sportclub-Fans are very nice to us and it's not like a, a, a game on, on rapid Wien or Austrian, you, you get the whole shit from, <laughs> from the crowd. It's the best job you can have, being a policeman at, at this club. Because you know, there will, nothing happens here. <laughs> nothing happens here, no troubles. Vienna was celebrating um, 110 years of first Vienna football club. And after the game, most of the fans stayed. 
and the away fans saying them happy birthday, first year and happy birthday to you. When we played them at our ground, we brought the tequila, they brought the lemons and we supported the, the game from the same stand. There was a party before a derby and there was a competition, stricken it, uh, to be naked. And uh, our guys were preparing and we were coming there, but the sport club fans were always standing naked on the bar. So can I expect someone doing it tomorrow as well? I don't know, because uh, our best uh, has problems with his uh, wife. She has seen him the first time in television and she said he is not allowed to do that anymore. They've always won in this, in this kind of thing. So now there is the Derby of Love. What do you think about this name? Uh, I think it's a, it's a media creation, I think. Um, I can't remember that somebody of us said this. My fans aren't happy with the term, because it's still a league game. You can earn three points and the bragging rights for half a year. It's not just a game for the league, it's a game for the heart, for the fans, um, for everybody. Um, it is... Um, it is... Uh, Allah schon mal Derby of Love, weil man einfach sagen kann, um, the Sport Club fans and the Vienna fans vertragen sie untereinander. I love my club, they love their club. It's surely some sort of marketing slogan, a very nice marketing slogan. The important thing is that people are celebrating a different uh, fan culture at, at these games, what football should be about. Again, if it helps bringing 8,000 people to the ground and if it helps having the game on national television, it's fine for me, I can live with that. Um, es sind halt ein bisschen mehr Zuschauer da als sonst. Also im Schnitt haben wir so, ich schätze, 1000, 300, 400, 500. Jetzt sind es halt doch 8000. Um, man ist natürlich aufgeregt. A full stadium, that means a lot of uh, income for the clubs. So therefore it's also very important for Sportclub that Vienna does not go up to the second league. That would mean that this income uh, is also guaranteed for, for the next season, which would be very important. It's uh, catchy. Derby of love, um, it's, it's not a derby of hate. As you might expect, it's a celebration of football where two fan bases respect each other and come together with their shared values. Some supporters may not like the name Derby of love, but it's unique in football and it can only be a good thing and maybe this makes the beautiful game that little bit better. <laughs>